today's problem from sequence of real number and the problem is use Cauchy's criterion so that sequence xn is convergent sequence okay where xn is given by 1 minus half plus 1 third minus 1 fourth and so on minus 1 to the power n minus 1 into 1 by n okay this is the sequence before going to solve this problem we first know what is Cauchy sequence any sequence xn is said to be Cauchy sequence if for any pre-assigned epsilon greater than 0 there must exist a natural number k okay that is k belongs to n such that mod of xn minus xn less than epsilon for all n m greater equal to k this is the definition of Cauchy sequence and this definition can also be written in the form this is mod of xn plus p minus xn less than epsilon where n greater equal to k and p obviously belongs to natural number how to write this here simply we replace n by n plus p and n plus p is always greater than n because n sorry because p belongs to n and so we write this condition like this okay this is the alternative definition of Cauchy sequence and if a sequence of real number xn satisfying the Cauchy condition this is known as Cauchy condition okay then we say that the sequence must be convergent and we say this sequence satisfy Cauchy's criteria okay so we here know or we know about three names of sequence the first is Cauchy sequence and we also say it is Cauchy's condition okay and also we know here this is the Cauchy's criterion of convergence right these three are same term now we go to our main problem here xn is this okay now we first let another natural number m belongs to n and n obviously belongs to n such that n greater than m we let as above okay now xn minus xm and if we write the value of xn like this and value of xm we write first this is 1 minus half plus 1 third minus to so on plus minus 1 to the power n minus 1 into 1 by n this is xm and what is xm xm is this 1 minus half plus 1 third minus 2 plus minus 1 to the power m minus 1 into 1 by m okay this is xm and since here we let n greater than m so all the term of m cancel out with the term of n because 1 1 cancel out half half cancel out and cancelling 1 by m with this term okay and we write after cancellation the remaining term as given by minus 1 to the power m into 1 by n plus 1 okay sorry this is not 1 by n plus 1 this is m plus 1 and this is obviously m m okay and after that this is this is given by minus 1 to the power m plus 1 and this is 1 by m plus 2 okay and so on we get the last term as minus 1 to the power n minus 1 into 1 by n this is the last term okay cancelling each term of this sequence with the first m term of this sequence and remaining terms are look like this okay now we take common minus 1 to the power m from the bracket okay and we get mod of minus 1 to the power m and this is 1 by m plus 1 minus 1 by m plus 
2 plus 1 by m plus 3 minus 1 by m plus 4 and so on we get the last term as this is minus 1 to the power n minus 1 minus m 1 by n okay this is the last term now since minus 1 to the power m this is either positive or negative so we write the result as 1 by m plus 1 this is the first term we get here the modulus minus we write this two term in a bracket as 1 by m plus 2 minus 1 by m plus 3 okay and again we write minus 1 by m plus 4 minus 1 by m plus 1 by m plus 4 minus 1 by m plus 5 and this is minus so on okay and since each bracket this bracket this bracket and all the bracket are positive why positive because because if we take the first bracket for experiment m plus 3 we know this is greater than m plus 2 now 1 by m plus 3 obviously less than 1 by m plus 2 okay so we write from this result clearly 1 by m plus 2 minus 1 by m plus 3 this is greater than 0 okay so we get that this is greater than 0 this bracket is also greater than 0 and all the bracket remaining there are greater than 0 okay so we delete all the greater than 0 term from right side we get that this is mod of this is mod of xn minus xn this is mod less than 1 by m plus 1 because we delete all the subtraction or all the subtraction of positive term from the right side okay and we know that if we want to satisfy the Cauchy's condition so we have to take a previous sign epsilon okay so we write here now mod xm minus xm this is less than 0 fold if 1 by m plus 1 less than epsilon fold right this term is less than epsilon fold only if this term is less than epsilon if this term is less than epsilon then obviously this term is also less than epsilon so we write this line okay and for that we get m plus 1 greater than 1 by epsilon and this gets m greater than 1 by epsilon minus 1 okay and 1 by epsilon since epsilon is epsilon is greater than 0 but it is very small very small so we take that 1 by epsilon is a large number okay is large and clearly 1 by epsilon is large so 1 by epsilon minus 1 this is a positive number okay and to get the positive integer from this positive number our process is we take this is box of 1 by epsilon minus 1 and this is equal to k we take okay then we say that m greater than k okay and in that case if we take if we take our another positive integer k0 this is equal to k plus 1 okay then we can write m greater equal to k0 okay two relation are same if we take here k then we get this is greater than k and if we take k0 equal to k plus 1 that is k0 is an integer just just after k okay then we write here this is greater equal to k0 we say this logic because here we give in the definition of Cauchy sequence here give greater equal to k okay if we get here greater than k then the definition is also correct okay so we can 
give here equal to or greater than greater than equal to or greater than both are correct okay so we get a k0 or k which is a positive integer such that mod of xn minus xm less than epsilon for all n greater than m greater than k because we already take here at first m greater than m and here we prove m greater, greater than k or k0 greater equal to k0 so we write m greater than m greater than k and this condition may be written in the form as mod of xn minus xm less than epsilon for all n comma m greater than k or we may write this is greater than k0 both are same already same so we say that xn satisfy Cauchy's criterion so it is converted or we say that xn is a Cauchy sequence so it must be converted very 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 important problem from Cauchy sequence thank you thank you for watching